Hello all, I wish you a very happy new year and welcome to my new video. Today's session, we will be covering how to change the voucher numbering uh, from, from the beginning of the year. Most of you have uh, experienced uh, this difficulty at the time for, of a new year. So how to change our voucher numbering. Uh, either you wanted to start from where you left in the last invoice, the number, whatever the number was, you want a continuation of that. Or you want to start with a new numbering system. The first and most important thing before we do anything in our system is to take the tally data backup. The tally data backup uh, is very very important. Um, you you can refer my earlier videos to um, the procedure to take the tally backup. You can refer that one. And once you have taken the tally backup, you will have to go to alter, which is under the masters. You can go under the masters and click on alter button. And you can go to voucher type, click on voucher type and select the voucher type in which you want to change the numbering system. For example, we wanted to change the numbering system for sales. Or say for example, you want to change the numbering system for payment voucher type. Okay. And we click on the payment voucher. The payment voucher type alteration screen will open. Enter, enter and come to this particular field where uh, Tally will allow you to change the numbering system set or alter additional numbering details. Make this option as yes and press enter. Okay, you can see the previous starting number was one. Here you can see the previous uh, starting number was from 1st of Jan 2023, it was one and it was yearly, which was continuing. And from this year onward, that is 1 1 2024 onwards, you want to start from one or you can start like where what is your last prepayment voucher number and you want the continuation of that you can type the the next uh, the new number the continuation of the number for example the previous uh, year last payment voucher number was say um, 2000 now this year when we start i want to start with 2001 so you can keep it like 2001 over here or if you want to start like 2023, you want to start with one, you can type 2024 also start with one. But if you wanted to change it to 2021, you can click on this and press enter on. In prefix and suffix details also you can provide. I have also done a video for prefix and suffix. I hope you have, uh, hope you might have seen that one. Uh, if you have not seen, you can just refer that one. Otherwise, I'll just explain now also uh, here in this video itself, uh, prefix is like from 1 1 2024 onwards i want my prefix should be like pay that is the first when you go to the payment voucher type it will show pay pay payment and then the suffix will be from 1 1 2024 onwards 24 onwards the suffix will be 2024 it's whatever you wish you can give it so i am setting for my particular company that my starting number should be 2001 and my uh, prefix should be pay, that is uh, the short form of payment, and the suffix should be 2024. So it, then we'll see how it, it uh, reflects in our uh, voucher. Keep accepting it, enter, enter, and accept this voucher type, and then we will go back to our vouchers under transaction. You go to vouchers, we'll click on payment, that is the changes we have done in the payment voucher. Click on the payment. Okay, you can see here payment. You see the voucher number pay 2001 and 2024 that's how it, it shows so the the next number will be 2001 then after the second entry will 2002 it keeps automatically it will change the numbering system the same way you can try for other all these voucher types as well okay so this is how we change the numbering system Please ensure you have taken the backup before we do anything in any any changes in the system. Thank you so much.